Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys this Valentine's Day romantic blush look, I guess you can call it. So first, I'm going to start using this Pores No More by Dr. Brandt to mute out my pores. I just did an updated eyebrow tutorial. If you guys want to watch, I'll put a card at the top right. So next, I'm taking this MAC Strobe Cream and I'm going to apply it wherever the high points of my face are just to give me more of a dewy look. For foundation, I'm going to be using this Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 220 Natural Beige and I'm going to be applying that with a beauty blender. I always use the same foundation, so if you guys have any recommendations, leave them in the comments down below. Next, I'm going to be using this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 25 Medium just to spot conceal. And then I'm just going to blend it out with a beauty blender. So next, I'm going to be using this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium to conceal my nose and under my eyes. And I'm going to blend out with the same Beauty Blender. Wow, ignore my face. I make the ugliest face when I blend out my concealer. I'm taking this Cody Air Spun Powder in the shade Translucent Extra Coverage just to set my concealer. I'm not going to be baking under my eyes, but I am going to be baking in the middle of my forehead just because I get really oily there. Then I'm taking this Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation Powder in the same shade 220 Natural Beige, and I'm going to be applying that wherever I didn't set the rest of my face. Then I'm taking this Hoola bronzer just to contour my nose and I'm just contouring my nose not the rest of my face because I just want to focus on the blush for this look. So for blush I'm using this Milani Luminoso blush which is a peachy shimmery shade and I'm going to be applying it on my cheeks like so. I'm holding the brush horizontally I'm not focusing on my entire cheek just near my under eyes and I'm also going to be applying it on the tip of my nose. Now the ring light is kind of muting out the color of my face but throughout the video I reapply the blush just so it's pigmented. Next I'm going to be using this MAC Fix Plus in the scent Rose just to set my face just because the blush powder dried it out a bit. For a highlight I'm using this Becca Champagne Pop which is my favorite and I'm just going to be applying it on the tip of my nose, on the bridge as well as under my eyebrows. Then again, I'm going to be spraying that MAC Fix Plus just so that my cheek highlight comes out a bit more pigmented. Next, I'm going to be taking this Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Ebony, which I used for my eyebrows. And I'm creating kind of like these faux freckles. They kind of look muted a bit. I didn't want them to be too harsh. And I'm just going to be applying that with this Real Techniques brush. And I'm blending it out with my fingers as well as a beauty blender. Next, I'm using this Marc Jacobs highlighter in the shade Blacker just to tightline my eyes to prep them for lashes, which are these Ardell Dummy Wispies, which are my favorites at the moment. And these are the faux mink versions, which have a more of a wispier tip to them, which I like better than the regular ones. Next, I'm going to be taking this Kylie Cosmetics Dolce K Lip Liner and I'm going to be lining and filling my lips. You can use foundation, but I'd rather use like a nude lip liner just so that you can see the shape of my lips. Next, I'm taking this NYX Cosmetics Powder Puff Lippy in the shade Boy's Tears. <laughs> and I'm going to be applying that on the center of my lips and kind of blending them out so that they appear more ombre as you guys can see. And then I'm using that lip liner again just to touch it up if the red goes too far. Now you can leave it matte, but I'm going to be applying a lip gloss. Right now I just have this Too Faced lip injection and I'm going to be applying that all over my lips. Now to set my face, I'm going to be using this Morphe Continuous Setting Spray and then I just make sure that I fan my face to set it even more. This is a completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe if you guys haven't already and I'll talk to you guys in my next video.